What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media bringing you another Dokkan Battle video today. So as you may know, part 2 of Global's 3 year anniversary is bringing with it 5 featured LR banners and the first of those banners is dropping tonight. As far as I know, this is the one that people are the most hyped about because it features LR Goku Black. Now in my personal opinion, LR Goku Black is the best of the 5 OG LRs for his ability to heal, hit hard, tank, and just overall fit on a lot of top tier teams. Leading up to now, a lot of you have been asking me in the comments about whether or not you should summon on this banner, and I'm going to try my best to answer that question for you today. But in order to do that, we have to consider a few things. One, what does the card actually do? Two, what does the banner look like? And three, what do his teams look like? Sounds good? Alright then, then let's get it started with a look at the card itself. So LR Goku Black is the OG tech LR lead. He gives all tech types key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 90%. His 12 key super causes colossal damage and raises his defense by 30% for 3 turns. His 18 key super causes mega colossal damage and raises defense by 30% for 6 turns. His passive is called Zero Mortal Plan, which is awesome, and it goes like this. Heal 15% HP at the start of turn and attack plus 30% with each hit received, up to a max of 120%. His links are Fear and Faith, Nightmare, Prepare for Battle, Dismal Future, Big Bad Bosses, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. As for category teams, he can be run on Realm of Gods, Patara, and Future Saga. So as I mentioned previously, this guy is very versatile. His 15% healing at the start of turn makes him one of the most consistent healers in the entire game, and he starts taking double digit damage on most events after 2-3 supers. While he does need to take 4 hits to reach his maximum damage output potential, once he gets there, he is an absolute monster. My Ara Goku Black, with 0 dupes linked with AGL Rose on a Patara team, can easily hit for over 3 million damage. So yeah, he is overall just a fantastic unit, who also happens to have one of the best card arts in the entire game. Now let's talk about his banner. This is the banner he came with on JP. There could always be changes when it comes to global, but I don't suspect there will be anything major. The banner featured LR Goku Black, Int Zamasu, SDR Rage Trunks, AGL My Physical SSJ Trunks, Tech Blue Vegeta, STR Zamasu, Int My Tech Future Trunks, Tech Whis, STR Beerus, Int Whis, and 4 SRs. So yeah, there's not much to be excited here besides the LR Black, but that's to be expected with these kind of banners. Of course, all the other LRs besides LR Gogeta and LR Vegito are also on this banner as unfeatured units, but that's true of all non Dokkan Fist banners. To be fair though, Int Zamasu and STR Rage Trunks are both very solid units, and Int Whis and Physical Super Saiyan Trunks are also great support units. Now lastly, I just want to quickly talk about LR Black's teams. I'm not going to go over what their optimal team looks like because that's going to take too long and I've already made videos about them. All I really want to say is that he is optimal on a lot of really amazing teams. So first, there's Patara, which is arguably the best team in the game right now. A lot of you who pulled LR Vegito but don't have LR Black will definitely want to get your hands on a copy of this guy. Not far behind is Realm of Gods, which is actually very similar to Patara. And once again, he will mess things up on this team as well. Then there's the Future Saga, which I've never personally tested out because it's not out on Global yet. But since this is a video targeted towards Global players, it's not really super relevant right now. But don't forget, he is also 100% critical on an extreme tech team if you want any chance of beating Super Battle Road with it. And he's also amazing on an all villains team led by AGL Rose or STR Rose. Now, we've gone over the unit, which is awesome. We've gone over the banner, which is mediocre. And we've gone over the teams, which are fantastic. I guess this is part of the video where I make my recommendation about whether or not you should summon on his banner. But you see, this is a difficult question to answer because everyone's account is different and everyone will have differing needs. Here's what I'll say though. If you're going to be dropping stones on just one of the five featured LR banners, this is probably the one you should be doing it on. Also, if you have a solid Patara team, Realm of Gods team, Extreme Tech team, or Villains team, and all you're missing is the LR Goku Black to bring it all together, then I'd say, go for it. At the end of the day, I'm high on the unit and the teams, but low on the banner. The decision is ultimately up to you. Just make sure that if you're going in, be mentally prepared for the shaft, because it could always happen. That being said, I wish all of you who plan to summon the best of luck and I hope you all pull fire. I personally will be going in with about 300 stones because I would love to pull at least one dupe 
for my LR Goku Black. But that's all from me. Hope you guys found the video useful. If you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then maybe, maybe hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. But as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.